Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Architect Schmarchitect. So we've been gone a minute. We have. Yeah, the last episode we shot was back in April. Now it's wow. September. It's we had quite a, a hiatus. We've hot and busy summer. Hot and busy summer, that's and right. And you're also going to notice that we're not in the offices of PLG no, Estates for this episode. No, we're at the home of, uh, that your clients recently purchased. Yep, I'm so happy for them. It's a really special home. Yep. We're in the Corbin Palms neighborhood in Woodland Hills. Yep, and this is a really good follow-on to what our last right. sh show was about. It was about the case study program. And for those of you who may not remember, that was this initiative back in the 40s that, that called upon all the leading architects of the time to design these homes that would be affordable right. but high design for all the returning GIs from yeah. World War II. And so even though not all of those homes were built, it absolutely had an influence in other architects. So the architects that developed this tract of homes were Dan Palmer, William Kreisel, yep. and they approached a company called the Alexander Construction Company to build a tract of homes. Yep. 283 homes and to so be And so this exact. was their very first project. Yes. Yep. And, uh, you know, they built these beautiful post and beam, you yeah. know, your typical mid-century floor-to-ceiling windows, the slanted windows that yeah, you love with the treetop yeah, views. The stone roofs. And the stone roofs, and you you know, you were telling me about how Chrysler was actually also a landscape He was, architect. yeah, he was a, yep, and he believed that, you know, the, the home, the design doesn't begin inside. It begins at the curb and the outside is just as important as the inside. Which is so, you know, telling for Southern California architecture where you, you know, your lifestyle is inside out, you know, so yep. I love that. I love that. Yep. We, yeah, we have the weather to, you know, support indoor outdoor living. Of course, exactly. Right? And yep. so they built these tract of homes. They're really successful and then they moved on to build homes in Palm Springs. They did, and it was just kind of mind-blowing how, you know, how much they did. homes. They doubled the size they of doubled Palm the size Springs, of Palm Springs, Springs at the time. And yeah. their designs were so great um, that they essentially created what has become a mid-century modern mecca Absolutely. in Palm Springs. Absolutely, because of them. Yep. Uh, they continue to work with the Alexander Construction Company. Those homes are now known as Alexander yeah. Homes. And they come at a premium. Yeah, in if you're going to buy an Alexander, you know, you're going to pay a little extra. Yeah, and in fact, one sure. of the homes is currently on the market. Yeah. It's, it was the home of Robert Alexander, the That's son. That's right. It's also known for uh, the honeymoon hideaway of um, Elvis and Priscilla. Yeah. And it's on the market. It's right on now. the market for $3.2 million. Yeah, so if you either want like a really great <laughs> Alexander or you want some Elvis history, yeah, you, can, that's, you can buy it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But back to this neighborhood, one of the really great things about this neighborhood and a testament to these designs is how long people have lived yeah. here. These owners were here for 55 years. The people next door have been here for just as long, I believe and they're still here and love it here. And when you buy a home that, you know, in the, the case of this home, it's barely been touched. So right. you have, you know, this wonderful palette to play with. Hopefully, they, you know, these owners will continue to sort of stay true to the mid-century design, but certainly right. update it to Right, and to you're not buying standards. somebody else's terrible yeah, redesign Yeah, like the already. 80s redesign. Yeah. You've yeah. got the, you know, You can keep as much of it or, you know, redo it, you know, yeah. with, with taste. I, I love this neighborhood, though, because I, the people who live here take such pride That's in true. the style, the architectural style of their homes. They've enrolled other homeowners in the area to also, you know, you know, celebrate these mid-century homes that are so special. Right, they recognize the gem that yes. they have. And the fact that they know the architect designed it, that's immediately going to increase their property value. Yep, it always does. It always does. If you have an architect pedigree that, pedigree that designed your house, and if it's a mid-century home too, the, in these particular times, like yeah. the past 10 years, it's just been you know, the hottest style. When what's amazing about this neighborhood, it's been under the radar, you know, you're seeing, when you see mid-century homes in Silver Lake or, you know, the Neutcher homes or whatever, they're, they're very expensive. Very expensive. These they're homes, out of reach for most people. For most people, these yeah. homes are still available at under a million dollars. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which is incredible. Yeah. So if you're interested in learning about this neighborhood, or take a look at some of these homes. Yeah, let us know. and. If, if, you know, I know we've mostly talked about Palmer and Chrysler, but if there are any architects that you particularly love and you would like us to talk about or architectural styles, reach out to us, let us know. We'd love to do episodes that you guys request from us. We sure would. Yeah. Thanks, so, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Alexander Construction Company. Yeah. They approached them. They, you know, struck up a deal to build a tract of homes. 
283 to be exact. Yep, in this tract here, yeah. 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 <laughs>